welcome to Little Blocks Union Report, the only active podcast on the world's most popular free online experience. Today's J- date is June 22nd. I'm Awesome2399. And I'm Desiracticon. And this is episode 3. So, Des, what have you been playing? I've been playing a lot of Lumine Legacy. Been in the trade resort a lot, trying to beam up my collection, and you know, it's been going great so far. Nice, Actually, nice. I only have six more Lumians. Seven more Lumians, and then I own every single Lumian in the entire game. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Maybe not all of their evolutions quite yet. Yeah. But I do own yeah. every Lumian. Nice, nice, yeah. Um, yeah, I've been uh, playing... I've been... I So, last... I actually haven't been playing a whole lot. I, um, I started work for once in my life. I'm not a lazy man anymore. And I... Um, I so I haven't had a whole lot of time to play, but what I have, when I have, um, last Friday I started jumping into um Xbox Cloud Gaming and trying that out, and it's really awesome. Um, it's a super cool feature, and basically it allows me to play Fortnite for free from my phone, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and then I, I've all, but when I have been playing Roblox. I've been playing a whole bunch of, like, shooting games. I guess Fortnite got me back into my addiction for shooters. So I've been playing a whole bunch of Arsenal and Phantom Forces and the like. So, yeah, it's pretty pretty good. Yeah, so that's kind of what we've been playing, I guess. We should talk about the Charlie XCX concerts. And because once you hear this, it'll have been about a week since the concert and yeah i guess we should talk about that a little bit so des did you see the concert at all i started watching it but i there are just so many glitches and honestly charlie xcx isn't my kind of musician so i couldn't finish it yeah so i actually so i missed it so again i've been working so i missed the concert but I did watch Creek Craft's reaction to it afterward. And oh gosh. It was um I'd like to know what you guys think, but personally I think it was a disaster. Uh there were rough set transitions, there were issues with avatars. Um as it uh once it as the event arena opened, like there were no one was teleporting. There were issues with teleporting. Like, everyone was lagging in. Um, and then at, there was good, like, cinematic camera. That was great. Um, but it didn't focus, I don't think, on Charlie enough. And there were issues with, like, avatars with users blocking ca- the camera so that people, like, couldn't see her. And it was it kind of flew in the way of those, and it got a little annoying. Um, but, yeah, the chat was on. It wasn't uh, the little area for where it mostly usually is. That wasn't on, but it was on um, above the user, above people's heads. And, if anything, that was probably the most annoying part, that you couldn't um, see that. Um, so... Personally, I would not think this was not a great concert, in my opinion. It wasn't as smooth or impressive as Fortnite concerts, and, I mean, just, and, or the Lil Nas X, even, for that matter. Like, those, those were amazing concerts, and they had a ton of great little detail and stuff that just made the whole experience overall. And, yeah, it did not... Roblox and Char- this didn't work out well for the Charlie XCX concert. Uh, in my opinion, um, this is how. So how to sum it up? This is kind of what I would say. Uh, Samsung went big and ambitious and tried to do a lot, and it just kind of flopped. So I mean, yeah. Would you have anything to add on to that, Des? Uh, just like the same stuff you're saying, like. The fucking tele, the teleporting, the chat, the fact, like 
I'm pretty sure Charlie XCX just like straight up T posed in one of the parts. Yeah, for, like, right a towards solid the, twenty seconds. Right towards the end, there was a moment where her it just completely her model, avatar completely broke. Yeah, that happened. Uh, like the mocap animations were all in all mediocre, but like the vast majority of the time they were glitching out or like. I know at the very beginning I saw that Charlie was, like, going from standing to laying down, like, very fast, if that makes any sense. Not really, I don't think. I didn't see that, um, but, um, yeah. But, yeah, uh, Little Nas X was eons better, and I can't help but compare it to that. I haven't seen the Fortnite concert, so I can't compare it to that. Yeah. But I think... I don't know. Yeah. I ha- I actually haven't seen the Lil Nas X concert. I completely missed that. But so I'll need to go back and see that, watch that. But it was a rough concert. Um I actually thought the mocap was good. Uh I thought there was a, maybe a little too much motion cuz um it, because like she moved around the stage a lot and I, I I don't know. I guess I that I thought that was a bit of an issue because there were also avatars also running all around. So, yeah, the fact that they let the avatars into the dancing area that was not yeah, correct no. cuz they didn't do that. They had like an invisible wall with Little Nas X. Cuz yeah. I was actually there for the Little Nas X concert. I was actually in the experience. I wonder if that's something that also broke. I wonder if that was there. Because obviously there was a set area for, like, uh, Charlie to walk around in, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I think there were a few times when she went outside of it, but not many. And I think, I wonder if that wall and just the mocap overall broke. I thought the dances were all on point. Um, I actually was a little surprised to recognize some music from, like, uh, TikTok videos I've seen. Um, and a few others, but, yeah, um... I guess it was, it was, the music and stuff was good, everything else was kind of terrible. Because, yeah, I think one of the biggest issues were definitely the sets, because you could see all the assets, like, loading in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and meanwhile, Fortnite, um, like, if you take a look at, like, the Travis Scott concert, it were, it was just, like, a few things, like, there was a section where the whole map went underwater or stuff and stuff and i mean yeah i guess yeah this wasn't even as half as good as fortnite's first concert uh the marshmallow and the biggest you had there was just um the floating around and yeah this was only wasn't even the charlie xcx concert wasn't even as half as good as that um so yeah it was not a great concert personally i don't think so uh yeah there's that so far there haven't been any other new roblox events so we'll let you know if that changes we'll move on to some roblox news and maybe some of these will turn into events we don't know yet for sure so chobani has entered roblox and they're promoting their oat milk with a game called chobani cosmic race it is available now um, right at the top if you search Chobani um, in your Discover tab. Uh, but as of recording, uh, no one is playing it. I haven't had a chance to check it out. So I guess uh, we'll just have to go ahead and uh, look at it and see what it has. Des, what do you think? Do you think this will actually maybe be a good game? Or... Uh, saying that no one's played it and it's been out for how long? I have no idea. At least a week or two. Well, so. saying it's been out and not a single person was playing it when we looked, I'd say it's its chances are grim. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of a weird promotion overall. I mean, you're trying to promote oat milk in the metaverse. A weird move, I think, overall. But, I mean, hey, we've seen weirder. We've seen iHeartRadio and State Farm, am I right? That is a lot weirder. True. Yeah. Um, and now we have two bits of clothing-related news. Uh, so, um, 
Tommy Hilfiger has created a Roblox game. It's called Tommy Play. Um, neither of us have checked it out yet, uh, but we will soon. And basically, yeah, I don't know. I think I saw something about a skate park in it. And yeah, it's going to be interesting to see because obviously fashion is going to be a huge part of the metaverse not um not just like armor and stuff but like full um but cosmetics and i guess just looking good i don't know having a cool avatar am i right yeah i mean that is one of roblox's main selling points like if you look at the actual app on the store its very first thing is i think its very first thing is create your own avatar yeah All right. even before entering bunch of experiences or like join millions of worlds or whatever yeah. yeah millions of worlds to explore is the second one i think yeah so tommy hillfinger has created that there were 400 players online last when we recorded um and then not to be outdone uh the children's clothing brand oshkosh are partnering with the uh gate with the metaverse network i guess uh, Super League to bring Fashion Runway. Um, I don't have much info about it, and it's currently unavailable. So it's not out yet, And we, but we will let you know if it is. We don't have anything big for Metaverse news, so I guess we'll kind of just go ahead and move on to Game Updates with, with Des. Des. Uh, game Updates with Des. Uh, we got Work at a Pizza Place adding a Be a Dog Game Pass for 400 Robux. Bruh. Bit interesting. I have not checked it out, and I probably won't, because to be honest, I do not play Work at a Pizza Place. That's it, more of Sam's criteria. Yeah, I've, um, basically what I've heard is that you're able to pick up pieces of pizza, like slices of pizza, with your mouse, when, when with your mouth, I cannot speak today, when you're a dog, and that's, as far as I know, that's about it. You're just a dog, and huh. yeah, it's kind of that stupid. seems a bit odd, kind of stupid, and kind redundant. Of weird. Yeah, and also really, really overpriced for four hundred Robux pricing. True, I mean that's a good five bucks, right? Yeah, that's I think exactly five bucks, maybe four. Uh, adopt me has done a collab with Minions The Rise of Gru, Ooh. where you can go into the game, talk to Gru, and get a Zodiac Minion egg that hatches a Zodiac Minion chick. And if you hatch the egg, you will keep it after the event ends, unlike prior events when they partner with shows such as the Scooby-Doo event back w way back when, where you could get a Scooby-Doo pet but it would go away after the event ended. Oh, nice. That's awesome. How long will the event be around? Uh, I actually do not know. It was literally just added yesterday. So I'd imagine a week or two, probably. Okay. It's typically how long they last, but that is... I have no idea. When does the movie come out? Do you have any idea? The about? movie comes out June, July 1st. July 1st. So... I get to go see it on July 1st. Awesome. That's super cool. I won't be here July 1st. <laughs> All right. Spoilers for later. Uh, Islands has added the Rock Mimic. I have not gotten in to check it out yet, but from my understanding is basically like you s the ore nodes on the island, those will be like sometimes when you mine them, they'll try to kill you, I guess. Oh, like, the rock will sprout out of the ground and try and attack you. You think that'll... I think that's what's going to happen, because it says yeah. rock mimic. And it showed, like, a coal node as a head, and then, like, a bunch of other, like, coal rock type how things. Much, how much health does it have? I have no idea on anything. Okay. I've only seen the thumbnail and a brief description. Okay. Uh, this is just a rumor, but I did get it directly from one of the devs of the game. I forget who it was. I'd know their username if I saw it, but I did get it directly from the devs of Lumion Legacy. I met them in the Battle Coliseum. Yeah. Uh, they said that Atlantean City Part 2 release is supposed to be 
Somewhere between late July, early August is when you'll be expecting that. Okay. And then players can continue their adventure there. Exactly. They'll be able to continue on. Yeah, all right. Uh, World Zero has added the long-awaited and, quite frankly, long-delayed World 8 update. Again, I know absolutely nothing about it because I can't run World Zero anymore, so I can't get in. So, World 8, um... Has added World 8, but I can't tell you anything about yeah, it. Yeah, World 8 and World Zero, um... Uh, that's about it for yeah. game updates. Lumion Legacy will have... You heard it here... You So you heard it here first, folks. Um, that'll be... Lumion Legacy will be updated late July, early August. So, uh, level up for that. Prepare for some tough water... Probably water. I don't actually. I haven't gotten to. Uh, the gyms water. already happened. Uh, I do believe the first thing in the story, like the last thing where it ended off, is the first thing in part two is going to be meeting some rich guy at his home, Mister right. Ferrex. I think his name was. Yeah. All right. So now we have a tiny bit more podcast news this week uh, before we close out a little bit early. Um, so I'm going to be gone for a couple of weeks. Actually, it'll be pretty much a straight month. Um, so in our... Well, I'm gone. Uh, we won't be recording. So in my stead, we'll be, we'll be releasing some bonus content, including our top 10 favorite games and why. So uh, get ready for that. Um, yeah. So that'll be all for this episode for the Robloxian Report. I'm Awesome2399. And I'm Desiree Have a good one. We'll see you next time.